with a section that had lost most of its original thickness. In addition to Chevron and the Bay Area Air Quality Management District, there is a long list of county, state, and federal agencies investigating the cause of the August 6th Chevron refinery fire in Richmond. They are also all looking at how air quality was measured and those results communicated to the public who needs to know. There is broad agreement that the air monitoring system in place now was woefully inadequate with gaps and lags in results. The district says it will require industry, not taxpayers, to foot the bill for air monitoring improvements. At the same time, the board emphasized that prevention is a priority going forward. The Chemical Safety Board investigation should be key in helping on that front. There is an opportunity to improve air monitoring, but we can't forget the ultimate problem here is stopping the release from happening in the first place. I think that's what we really want to get at, the prevention so this doesn't happen again. We'll look at uh, what when inspections did occur, uh, decision making around those uh, inspections. We'll look at what results uh, were, there, were there from those inspections, what, where those results were taken, were, they, were, were the uh, thickness measurements taken in the proper locations, did they have a, uh, a good program, were they using industry standards, are the industry standards adequate? The Chemical Safety Board Chairman will meet tomorrow evening with the City of Richmond and could release some results then. Uh, the investigation will be focusing in one way on why this segment of pipe that ruptured was not replaced in November 2011 when an adjacent similar corroded pipe was. Live in San Francisco, Heather Ishimaru, ABC7 News. All right.